What's going on guys, Duelum here, back again with another video, and today we're going to be talking about the start of Dark Dimension 7, some early information we've learned about the nodes, how hard they really are, and how you should reshape your plan for building for Dark Dimension, and who you should build first based on all this information. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Coming into the video, we're going to be talking about what's going to be on these Dark Dimension nodes and what you guys can do to kind of prepare for this. So you can see all the enemies listed here. Um, it, it's, a, it's a rough first node. Obviously, this is unrestricted, so you can bring in anything. Um, you'll see we start off with a Nova here who's over a million. Uh, he also ults every single turn, so he's really, really rough to go against. And he spawns with those charges, so you can't get that ability block or a stun on him to make sure he doesn't do it. Um, you'll see the first time rewards here are pretty nice as well. You get a mega gold orb, and you get some mystic... Uh, G19 pieces as well. Uh, you see you got a lot of photons to start. You got two photons. You got a lot of blinds. Morgan Le Fay, a taunter with safeguard. Robbie. I mean, these nodes look absolutely nuts. Uh, you'll see what two players have used to beat node one so far. Um, you'll see Beta Ray Bill, who is everybody's favorite to win and do Dark Dimension 7 the fir first and the fastest. Um, hit it with a Nightcrawler, VK, Kestrel, Lizard, and BK comp. He only did 92 million damage, so he has still not cleared this node. Um, but you'll see somebody like Platypus Messiah has one shot the node with APOC, Scroll, Quicksilver, BK, and Kang. Uh, he also has one shot node number two, and he has also one shot node number three. So he used the same team for all three of the first unrestricted nodes, but you'll see he's not into the global uh, or into the mythic sec the uh, city section. I'm sorry. The, so there's a case to be made that getting through unrestricted faster, you build sus, you build APOC. But then you're just sitting at the door of city. So then you can't do anything at city because you don't have the city characters built up. That's why Beta Ray Bill is going to be sitting here for a minute because he's not going to be able to get through unrestricted as quickly because he doesn't have sus. He doesn't have APOC. He doesn't have other mythic characters or other big hitters like uh, to help him out. So he's going to be sitting here with his global or skill tunes hitting into this node for possibly quite a while. Now, he did do a 92 million hit, so that is pretty impressive. Uh, the, the node as a total has 570 million health. Uh, it was one shot with 440 million damage, which I'm not sure how that works exactly. Um, but it, it looks like you'll be able to get through the nodes without the best characters from Mythic. So building in order might still be the best way to go. Because I feel like if you're building for Mythic for the unrestricted nodes, and then you're going to have to get through City, Global... Cosmic, Legendary, and then all the way to Mythic before you can use them again, that might be a really, really big detriment to your roster. Um, you'll see here, some of the nodes are absolutely nuts as well. You'll see we have a Leader and an Iron Patriot here. Um, Iron Patriot is, remember, he's giving that 50% damage to villains as well, and everybody on this node is a villain. So he's just bolstering everybody. I think the only non-villain is Sylvie. But he's literally peppered through here. So you got, look, Iron Patriot, Iron Patriot, Iron Patriot, Iron Patriot, Iron Patriot. So all these villains are getting an extra 50% damage. So I'm getting my wish. These nodes look nuts. They look really, really hard and really difficult to clear. So maybe rethink your, your strategy of taking in the cheapest tunes. Because you can see here we have a million uh, Void Knight, a million... Morgan Le Fay, we've got Weaver. The only time I think I see minions in here, just for the reflexive taunt from Shield Security. Um, Cosmic Ghost Riders, over a million. You'll see diamonds are abundant everywhere in here. Um, the stats are a little bit less crazy in, um, in the city section because we obviously have way worse characters to go into city. So you'll see there's only like 350k tunes, 400k tunes, 500k tunes. Uh, but then you come over here and it's million, 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 million. Um, you'll see we do have a Black Knight as the boss node for node number eight. This is going to be Cosmic. Some uh, Craven. Uh, we got Zombie Juggernaut. The, the good old Robbies from the Bleeds that are going to be rough. Um, node number two of the, myth, the uh, Cosmic section. You'll see is going to be a lot of Sinister Six, 
uh, some yellow jackets, a rogue, that green goblin classic. I mean, uh, a whole bunch of pain here with Bionic Avengers, Ghost, uh, that that good old Pym Tech getting those Dark Dimension buffs. Yeah, not on our team. No, they suck. Uh, they're going to be great here, though. So Gambit pinging, another Green Goblin classic. Uh, then we'll look over at the Legendary section. So Legendary is going to be a little bit easier because obviously we'll have better characters. But a 1.7 million Omega Red. Um, I mean... Uh, an APOC with two diamonds and uh, let's see if he's empowered too that'll be interesting to see if we have the first time Apocalypse is empowered in a PvE mode uh, and then last legendary node we've got four Robbies kicking it off right off rip four freaking Robbie Reyes Quake to put out slows Yo-Yo to put offense downs five Colsons it's gonna spawn with five Colsons four Robbies and a Quake yikes um, a bunch of people putting out bleeds here for all the Robbies. A 1 million Rolk. Uh, I mean, a two 1 a million Rolks. I mean, these nodes are pretty nuts. The good news is, though, for Mythic, we're able to only take four characters. So that means we're going to be able to take in Apoc, Super Scroll, Kestrel, and then probably Dormammu. You'll probably drop the Doom because, honestly... Doom is an, a good character, but he's more kit-based than stat-based, and I think Dormammu's just going to benefit you more. So for the first Mythic node, you see we start off with a two-diamond APOC, we got a Pre-Taunter, we got Archangel, Phoenix, that reworked Phoenix as well, uh, Vol getting those exposed and possible revives out there, uh, Black Cat some dooms you'll see we have some, uh, a super scroll here that's over a million that will absolutely destroy your team more phoenixes peppered through so you can't control the wave really well they're going to be cleansing uh two over a million robbies which is also nuts and then a morgan lefay that's hitting close to a million uh and then for the last node you can see this node is gonna be nuts three morgan lefays a nightcrawler Black Cat, Doom, a 2 million freaking Drax. Never thought we'd see that in our lives. Uh, that's nuts. Kang, more Nightcrawlers. Noir getting all the turn meter from all the positive effects you're putting out in your own team. Another Kang, a Weaver, more Noirs. And guess what? There's going to be a Mephisto on here. Um, so it looks like I got my wish when it comes to Dark Dimension being way harder which is good. Um, I think Dark Dimension... Here, I'll actually go back into it. I think Dark Dimension 6 was a little easy, honestly. Um, I remember Dark Dimension 6 being really straightforward for the, the unrestricted sections. Uh, the global sections were just the APOC show. Cosmic was just... Once The first run was a little rough because of the Morgan Le Fay and uh, APOC and Rolk here. But this wasn't too bad. This took maybe eight or nine hits for the longest, like the worst node out of all of them. City was an absolute joke with Robbie. Uh, Legendary was an absolute joke. We one shot every node. And then this node was a, these two nodes were a joke too. Honestly, I'm happy we got a challenge for DD7 and I hope it's very hard throughout and it's engaging content that makes us go through it for a while. So, like I said in the beginning of the video, you may want to change who you're going to bring first into those unrestricted sections. Um, not only because the unrestricted sections will be easier with some mythic tunes, but also they're going to benefit your roster as a whole, uh, just overall, way better. So imagine a G18 scroll is going to affect your roster so much better than like a Craven or a Lizard for the first city nodes, just to get into city faster. Um, there is a case to be made of trying to get through a little bit quicker, but honestly, I think the benefit of having these mythic tunes built up sooner, such as like a super scroll an apocalypse, a black knight, even though he's not used to the global section is going to be really important to make sure that you guys can, uh, do better in cosmic crucible. Cause we saw some people starting to face G 19s in cosmic crucible and it is no joke whatsoever. Um, so doing better in cosmic crucible, doing better in raids as well, maybe investing into the tunes you're going to put into DD seven, um, a little bit quicker, like a nightcrawler could carry those, mi those mutant nodes. Um, Kang, obviously a great all around character. Um, Apoc sus, like I said, they're going to be used in arena. They're used in a lot of places. Kestrel's massive plug and play. 
and other people like that. So building an order might not be the best way to go, honestly. And I'm kind of leaning towards it's not, especially when it comes to doing the mythic tunes first, because the amount of time you may or may not save building those skill tunes first, I don't think will outweigh the benefit of building Super Scroll and APOC to G19 as quick as you can because of the benefits you're going to get overall um, in game modes. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Uh, that's my take on Dark Dimension 7. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of difficult nodes on there. I'm really excited to see what the Krakens are going to be doing for all the hardest nodes and how they're going to be getting through it, whether it's economically or just with the best tunes possible. I'm going to keep an eye on that and keep updating it as we go to see how long this DD7 race will last. I don't expect it to go very long, honestly. Maybe a couple weeks. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. But until next time, this has been Doolum. Later, y'all. Mm -hmm.